Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today, I wanted to talk about wind streaking because it's something that's obviously come back into the forefront of a lot of DVD players' minds. Wind streaking has kind of always been a thing. I remember back in the good old days of Ruin Undying before it got nerfed that uh, a ton of people went on a lot of wind streaks, uh, and those were very, very popular, and that brought up that conversation back then. But now recently, there have been a lot of people on wind streaks again. Uh, obviously, there's that one Blight player that reached 1,000, which caused a lot of controversy. My friend Reaper, who is playing uh, Pinhead, has reached 200 wins on uh, his win streak uh, with the character. And I've, and obviously with uh, Reaper, I mod for his stream. So I've watched most of those 200 matches. And when the whole Ruin and Dying thing was the thing that I mentioned, I watched a lot of those matches, especially with people like Otz, who actually, actually posted um, their win streaks for everybody to see. I noticed that there was just a particular pattern to the way win streaking is that I just found ultimately pointless. And the general act of win streaking is just strange to me and i'm not in any way saying that nobody should go for wind streaking or that everybody you know should go for wind streaking. i'm not you know saying one way or the other i'm just saying from a personal level i don't get the point and i want to talk about why so let's go ahead and get into it so wind streaking in like most contemporary video games is used as a way to show or um display the skill of the player behind the screen they're trying to show that hey i am so good at this game that i can consecutively win over and over and over again and i don't even need to try not even that i don't even need to try that's a little bit of an exaggeration but like you know with my skill i am able to pull off win after win after win after win like i'm so darn good at this game that i can literally go without losing for very long extended periods of time and i just when i go in dead by daylight and i look at dead by daylight i don't see that when it comes to win streaking and dead by daylight when i go into win streaking i see people with quad slowdown or I see people playing with the strongest add-ons available to a character. Obviously, not even just that 1,000 uh, win streak blight, but like blights in general go on a lot of win streaks, just like in the streaming community, because, well, he has some of the most strong add-ons available to any killer in Dead by Daylight in the entire game. So, riddle me this, Batman. If somebody runs for slowdown on the second strongest character in the game that has the best add-ons available to him in the game, especially now that Nurse's uh, range recharge are gone, uh, should you not be winning most of your matches? Right? It's like this this all goes back to that Ots video where uh Ots was talking about how the game is a little bit more balanced when everybody brings all the sweaty stuff at the same time, like the expectations are the same. Uh like the resources, the resource section of that, where he's talking about add-ons, maps, uh specific characters being brought. That stuff is really, really important. It's the second highest on his pyramid. I disagree. I think resource is the strongest thing in DBD uh, when it comes to balance, but you know, that's neither here or there. But yeah, case in point being that, yeah, if you are playing the second strongest character in the game, you are bringing the strongest perks and you are bringing the strongest add-ons, should it be kind of like an ergo that you're winning that much? Like, what is there to be amazed about? What 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 about that is intriguing? What what about that is entertaining? I, I, I don't get it. I don't find it really great. Now, if it, now let's, let's put this, let's put it on its head. I feel like if there was somebody who was playing Blight, running quad slowdown, running his best add-ons, and always facing the best teams, or some of the best teams, like really good teams consistently every match, and they had that win streak, I'd be impressed. I think that'd be cool. I would be like, wow, they are actually really solid and really, really good at the game, because, you know, really, really good survivor teams know how to circumvent uh, a lot of the resources that are in the game. Not, not intrinsically, they can't always do it, but they are more likely to circumvent some of the stronger uh perks and add-ons that may you know unfortunately the way to phrase it is that might be playing the game a little bit for you and it might actually put the 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 victory in the hands of the player like it's up to the player and their skill to turn it around because the perks the add-ons and all that stuff the character is not going to do it for you and there are a lot of those in win streak matches they do often face really really good teams and those are often the most exciting but by and large most of the matches i watch when i'm watching somebody go through a win streak are just you know a solo queue in a trio or two duos or you know three randoms and and well that's not three randoms would be just four man solo queue but you know what i'm saying like it's it's not it's not four man on comms it's not four man running really good perks a lot of time it's just people just like hopping on the game and playing casually or just like trying but not really knowing how but like they're not prepared. The expectation was not put upon them that they were entering a match that was part of a win streak. So of course they didn't bring the best perks. Of course they didn't play the sweatiest because they weren't aware of that expectation going in. And I feel like that's why I find win streaking in general to be such a boring and unfun thing to watch for me. Because like, of course, 
the two duos who were just trying to go for beamer saves are going to get squashed by the four slowdown blight with like you know alk ring blighted crow you know like of course they're going to lose to that guy like where's the surprise where's the suspense where's the surprise where's the suspense and that's unfortunately like 80 to 90 percent of a win streaks like like matches is watching this guy bring the strongest stuff and just roll through teams who are clearly clearly not prepared and clearly not anticipating somebody of that level of intensity rolling them over so it's just like i just don't get the like there's probably like like for example my friend reaper like i said is going on 200 win streak with pinhead uh and i've watched a lot of his matches uh a lot of his matches obviously because i mod for him and i would say across his win streak the matches that i've actually found entertaining probably around 10 or less probably around 10 or less like there's those every once in a while you'll find a match that's like oh well they got really close right like they got really close you, he actually fights a really good team a good team that's you know sometimes on comms and he actually barely clutches it those matches are very entertaining but out of the 200 only 10 are actually intriguing and like nail-biting matches like actually entertaining like that's wild to me that's wild to me and i don't get why the community gets so into win streaking when uh, you know the other 190 of those matches are just you know him just rolling through and steamrolling pub players who don't know what's going on and clearly weren't prepared for that like i just i, I don't get the intrigue I, I don't get like why it's entertaining i don't get why people like watching it i don't get where the the hype comes from because like like i said of course somebody running the strongest stuff on our strong character and going hard is going to win most of their matches like it's just i don't get where the suspense is Unless you really are just like waiting around for that one match where they actually do fight somebody who's actually like of a team that's of the same caliber. But like, uh, you know, unless you're uh, waiting around for a compilation and you're actually watching the streamer go through their win streak, like that's going to be a lot of matches that are just kind of steamrolls or not very interesting because of that. So I don't know. That's just me, though. I, that, I just have never gotten the whole win streaking thing. It's never been something that's clicked with me, something I've been like, heck, yeah, I want to watch that. Um, but like, it seems to be something the community is really, really into. So I kind of wanted to, you know, but why I don't really enjoy them and kind of maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's an aspect of wind streaking that is really cool that I just kind of am not thinking of. And maybe that's something you guys will correct me on or at least, you know, uh, advise me like, hey, this is why I like it. So let me know if you have anything like that. of like, well, wind streaking school actually because of this. And I'll be like, oh, okay. I can kind of see that. Um, yeah, this wasn't even a video that I planned to make today. I was just kind of like, watching somebody on a win streak and i was just like brother this is boring <laughs> like i was just like this is boring i hate this why do people like this so you know i have a youtube channel where you guys listen to my soapboxes about things so might as well do that soapbox in front of other people so yeah thanks so much for watching guys i do upload daily though so i will see you in the tomorrow zone but if i do not well you know i'll see you when i see you goodbye